And in my view, as a historian, a local historian, the number one person in the history of the state of North Carolina in the 1900s was Luther Hodges. He was the single most important historical figure for the state in that time frame. Hodges had began in the mills as an office boy in the general office. Um, some people locally helped him get to get the education and preparation he needed to go to UNC, Chapel Hill. Um, and he was a big man on campus there. He was president of this and that, helped form some of these clubs and things. And when he graduated, he came back to the mills, started working in the office, and eventually by the mid-20s, or 10 years after that, he, he, went to, he went to UNC in 1915, so he came back in, what, 1919. And by the mid-20s, he's basically running the mills, right on up until he resigned right after, or I can't remember the exact time frame, sometime in the 40s he resigned. His assistant at that time also lived in Leeksville, Harold Whitcomb, and so they were the, Whitcomb took over and ran the mills on up into the 70s, maybe early 80s, I forget the date, but they were the last two and only two people running the mills for any extended period of time that lived in the community. After that, we had people brought in, like they brought in the governor of Virginia once, so that, that didn't lead to anything but ruin as far as I'm concerned. But, so Hodges was a big wheel. He left the mills and went into politics. In 1952, he got elected to Lieutenant Governor of the state. A year later, Governor Umstead died unexpectedly. So Hodges filled in the last three years of his term. By law, he could run again. The rule was you could only run one elected term as governor. But he had three years that he got because he, the guy died now he's elected, he was the longest serving governor of the state up until they changed the law sometime later on in the 80s. He built the, um, started the um, Research Triangle Park and did a lot of good things for the state, made us a, he was a really good governor, I think. He left that, when Kennedy got elected in 1960, he joined Kennedy as the Secretary of Commerce. 